Hello, I'm Carolyn Clifford, and here are your 7 Action News headlines. Detroit police want to find out who fired shots at a minivan with six children inside. We are told the driver suffered a gunshot wound. A two-month-old baby and a one-month-old baby were injured by flying glass. The man drove to a nearby nail salon to get some help. He is expected to survive. Nathaniel Abraham is expected back in a Pontiac courtroom to face new drug charges. He was convicted of murder as a child and spent a decade in prison until he was 21 in 2007. Well, now 33, Abraham is accused of selling drugs in Pontiac and Farmington Hills. He was on bond in two previous cases at the time of this latest arrest. A stranger danger warning involving a white van in Melvindale turned out to be a false alarm. Police tracked down the driver accused of calling a nine year old girl to his van on Thursday. We are told it turns out he was talking to someone else on a nearby porch. All right, let's get a check of the weather with Chief Meteorologist Dave Rexroth, who has a Check of your seven first alert forecast, Rex. No chances Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Now, Saturday and Sunday, neither day a real big deal. I think there'll be a few snow showers Saturday. There might be a few tenths of an inch of snow actually sticking in the northern suburbs, maybe half an inch close to I-69, very little around and south of I-94. And Sunday, the chances are only south and they're lesser chances, so it's not a big deal. We do start to get cold Sunday, even more so Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, with single-digit lows and some of those snow showers blowing off Lake Michigan. All right, thanks a lot, Rexy. A festive cultural exchange celebrated the diversity of Sterling Heights. <laughs> Just a sample of the music entertaining the crowd last night. Dancers also took center stage in colorful costumes. From fun to food, the exchange puts on a spotlight on more than a dozen cultures, cultures should I say, from all over the globe. It's a chance for people from many different backgrounds to reach out and promote understanding. Those are your headlines. Remember to go to WXYZ.com and, of course, our 7 app for news anytime. Have a great day.